again struggle. With the sun rising over the hills, we make ready for a long stalk from the bush across to the plains. Here at Highfeld, here is an interesting phenomenon. Every night all the animals move from the plains to the bush. made our stalk from the bush towards the plains in the hope of catching the animals crossing over to the plains in the early morning. With the black wildebeest looming over us and suddenly knowing about us, there was no chance to get a shot on them. They will always stay out of shooting distance. Out of pure luck, a blazebuck ewe, a very old one, was on her way to the bush. We were in the shade, and a perfect frontal hard shot was taken. It doesn't get better than this. A real trophy indeed, a very old blazebuck ewe, polished horns and no teeth. came across a few warthogs grazing at the warthog we knew that the big male would be somewhere this time of year
to work this track. Next up was a 50 inch wide kudu bull, not something you can hunt every day. It gave us an opportunity to take a shot. The hunters needed to decide quickly and they choose yes. On our stalk back to camp, we came across and old impala baking in the sun as any hunter would know you would never shoot the animal laying down the ethical thing was to wait he stood up but the shot was a bit low and it didn't drop the animal instantly in ordinance 12 of 1983 it is legal to hunt down and track any animal that was wounded with the assistance of a tracking dog that's exactly what we did this is a very old impala and this trophy we would not want to get to waste. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Me and my brother decided we need to get a bit closer. We couldn't risk shooting shooting our tracking dog. Finally he was done and down. In hunting, everything doesn't always go to plan, but when it doesn't go to plan, it's always good to have a plan B. And sometimes a plan C and D. As long at the end of the day, the animal is down, it's all that matters. I felt productions, thank you all for watching.